All right, guys. Miraculously, we about to get this up because I have been exactly there. earlier than what it said to me. Earlier? What you mean? Recording. No, we don't usually wait until Tuesday. You talking about time wise? I'm talking about this nigga screaming in the back. Excuse me. <laughs> Screaming in the background. Yeah, so we're dealing with that and this janky thing that just dips. Okay, I saw your face that time. What you talking about? Yeah. Look at him. Check your emails. Check your emails. We don't got time for that. What's going on? All right. What's happening? We're about to make this go. You ready? I was in a rush. Yeah. I got things to do. But. Oh. Ah. <laughs> You walked right. walk into it. But you all are important to me, so I said we're going to get it done. You ready? I said we was going to get it done. You ready? Yeah. You, don't turn it that way, because you always turn to talk to me. <coughs> That's going to put your mouth too far away. <coughs> if anything, have it in front of you this way, because that's what you, you always do. You'll be like, eh. Go. Got to help him. What's up, every? You can't do that. You can't start talking when I'm doing this. Don't tell me what I can't do. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Is This Going to Cause an Argument? The answer to that question is yes. This is a weekly podcast with me and my husband. What's I am Angel of That Chick Angel TV. And uh, yeah, you heard that deep voice over there. Tell them who y'all, baby. I'm Marcus. Yeah, y'all. <laughs> you That's said that got, but... like you were real special. Yeah. I'm Marcus. I'm Marcus. <laughs> Good day. So, yes, Marcus is uh, the other host, my husband of almost 10 years. And yeah. like I said, this is a weekly podcast that we've been popping out we, since. We try to make weekly. Yes, we try to make it weekly. Sometimes it's monthly. Um, we started back Bi-annual. in 2016, and we're trying to keep the keep this thing going in 2017 so if you all want to hit us up with any topics any suggestions or comments you can tweet me at angel the actress or you can uh, visit my facebook page which is that chick angel tv if you are one of my subscribers on my youtube channel you know that you can leave a comment underneath the actual video for this podcast and if you're not a subscriber of mine and you somehow ran into our podcast please by all means Go over to That Chick Angel TV on YouTube. Marcus has a Periscope account, which is <laughs> Big Marcus at 2782. Yeah. He has the account. I'm not saying that yeah. he cares. Y'all can tweet me if you want to. But. It's not going to make it anyway. That yeah. means sending a real bird to yeah. find you. I'm sending pigeons A homie here. pigeon, yes. But uh, yeah, you can use the hashtag ITGTCAA. Um, to get my attention to let me know that it's about the podcast but we thank you for tuning in and uh is there anything else any of the like house business that i need to cover before we jump into this you got a whole i don't yeah sure but let's move forward what you saying that did i or did i not cover everything? i'm pretty sure you did but it's very possible you're missing something you got a lot of credentials a lot of credentials it's not credentials well, it's, it's just you know yeah. like social media social media yeah. So that holiday that so many people hate and some people love for some reason is coming yeah. up, and that's Valentine's Day. Yeah, when you, have, I feel most veteran couples be like, it's what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because somebody was asking me if we were going to be doing something, and I was like, probably not. Yeah, I was like, we spent so much money on his birthday. I think we're both cool with just being here. We did. Yeah, it was you, but I spent it. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. We spent it. Group effort. Yeah, yeah, group effort. Look, no, I know what's about to happen is I, because all that money was spent, I ain't going to see no money towards bills. It's just going to be me putting the yeah, money. you know I uh, spent 800 on my birthday, so I'm going ahead and fix all the rest <laughs> of this stuff. Um, but, yeah, are we going to do anything for Thanksgiving? I mean, Thanksgiving. I'm sure we will. so much that I yeah. care. Valentine's Day. Are we going to do anything? We might do the, I mean, When we do do something, we just literally, like, sit at the house and, like, let's watch a movie in honor of Valentine's Day. <laughs> like, it ain't nothing special. Like, I mean, we've gone out to We have dinner. Valentine's Day weekly. Oh. Yeah. It's but. <laughs> See, why you have to say that? Now i got to find it at 3 11. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, but I mean, it, it really when you were a veteran couple, like Valentine's Day is like really that's a joke. Like, 
I don't, I don't know a lot of people that take that serious. I don't know a lot of people who take it serious. You know, I got grown people that are dating. They're like, oh my God, it's Valentine's Day. It's a big deal for them because they lonely half the time. So. Oh, never lonely half the time. But yeah, I, it's not a big thing for us. Marcus usually gets me a gift last minute. Yeah. I don't particularly always get him a gift. I do get you a card. Um, I'm just big on cards. I'm like, you can. You don't like cards? They all right. No, if you ain't here for them, I won't get. I won't you ain't waste got my money. No Valentine's Day. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like you don't need a card in general. Oh, no. Nah, I, you know, every now and then, like, oh, depending on the occasion, Valentine's Day. Now nah, you keep that card. Keep that dollar thirty-eight. <laughs> Well, I wish it was a yeah. dollar thirty-eight. Spend it like four dollars. Yeah. Get you a, a Burger King meal or something. Yeah, I might grab us some flowers somewhere. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Well, he's got me some nice perfume, some nice jewelry. He got me one of the sweaters that I love so much that I recently had to get rid of. You got me some good gifts. For you know, Valentine's Yeah. Uh, you see, mm -hmm. I don't. Cause you get them, you do get them last minute. Like, uh, oh, I believe that. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I do. One of the dresses that I have that I really like, the multicolored one. That yeah, like that's because like, you seem all excited. Just like, so, what are we doing this weekend? Are we gonna, well, are we gonna do something during the week, or is it gonna be on the weekends? So I'm just like, yeah, because I'm serious. I do enjoy a good date night when we can get it and it's fun and stress free, but. We don't always get that because we don't want to spend a lot of times. Look, a lot of times we get babysitters, it's for us to go separate places. Yeah, <laughs> so for Valentine's, I know we will be spending time together, so I do appreciate that part of it. I had some co workers, uh, women ask me one time what would be the perfect Valentine's Day gift from a wife to a husband, and I said to tell him that you're not celebrating Valentine's Day. Yeah, you said that last year on here, did I? Yeah. You yeah. Did. They, that was that when they asked me that. And oh. I was like, yeah, tell him, hey, don't worry about it this year. He'll high five you. Well, some men are like extra romantic, so maybe yeah, they like some of them are. Never. <laughs> yeah, some of them are. <laughs> You're not married to one of them. Yeah, no. Okay, so since we've covered Valentine's Day before, that's not going to be the focal of the rest of this podcast. We're going to get to the, the nuts and berries of it, it pun intended. <laughs> Sexy time. So, Marcus, what do you feel like is, coming from the male perspective, like the sexiest thing a woman can do outside of the bedroom? Cook and clean. <laughs> <laughs> In heels and a t-shirt. <laughs> So is it all about the visual or is it about the act of what she's doing? What I think it? for most men it's about the visual. You know what, I actually read a book called For Women's Eyes Only and it's actually a Christian book and that's one of the things it really focused on. It is, it's all about a woman understanding her, men and one of the things that it focused on was that men are visual. There's just no getting around it, straight or gay. They are visual creatures. So, yeah. um, and one of the points she made, which has been proven, I've had people test it out. She was like, if you were to ask your spouse, um, like, to support you in some sort of weight loss thing, as far as in whether it be financially, like, I want to try Journey Craig or something like that, they'll support it. Even if they, they money yeah. for other things, like they say yeah. no. If Both y'all's cows repossessed, but he gonna throw in some money on his credit <laughs> for his Weight Watchers. <laughs> because that. But you gonna look good when you're walking to the bus. Stand. Right, pretty much. <laughs> it's just like she. They. She was just like they. Um, they are visual creatures, so yeah. that's something that. And and she talked about um, how sex is an actual important. Like, obviously, people know sex is important in a relationship, but it's a different level of importance to a man because of their wiring. And this is after her. People cheating. needed a book to know this? Well, this is... <laughs> no, but you, everybody knows that men like sex. Yeah. But liking sex and where it's valued is, I think, sometimes a discrepancy. Like, I feel like women are very aware that men really want sex, but... The value of it is like, you know, women value a man that's 
well, some women value a man that's attentive and very honest. That's high on the value. Mm -hmm. And she's saying sex, that's like sex for them. Yeah. Is like, and it's not so much about just, it, it's just a part of their needs and the way they're wired, uh -huh. I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so it is the No measurement. argument there. He's like, yes, yes, <laughs> that is correct. So I just, I mean, it really, I was, I was on the airplane reading it. I read the whole thing on the airplane. I was very tipsy. <laughs> but I took it to heart. I was like, oh, okay, like, I get it. I get it now. Like, And again, you needed a book to tell you. No, because women are very... No, I've said it. No, not like that. Women no, are very vocal about their needs and wants in a way that you know how important it is to them. Men might mention what they need, but you don't know where it falls. Men will mention what they need when asked and that that comment will never change. So that's a very vocal, <laughs> it's like, I need this and this. It's six years later, you ask again, he's gonna say the same thing. He may not say it in six years, but it's the same mm -hmm. exact point. But no, let's think about it, okay. Women like sex too, uh, most of the time if they're enjoying it, but do <laughs> do we need to be sexually fulfilled? I mean, and I'm making a very stereotypical statement, so it's you know, obviously different for every woman, but if we were to take the average woman that's like in her 30s where I'm at, do we need sex as often as a man would love to have sex? No. Yeah, well, half the time, uh, even if a man. <laughs> what? If, uh, the ones that, that do want it as often can't have it that often, even if they could have it. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, it ain't working like that no more. But because of that, you see it from that. Like, I don't really. I don't even want to have sex probably as much as a dude would want to have sex. So. We see it because as that's the only thing on a lot of men's mind, like twenty four seven, nonstop. That sounds crazy to me. Yeah, it, it does sound people. crazy, but it's coming from a man. <laughs> you <laughs> think about trucks and guns a lot too, so associated with sex. <laughs> Why do you think all gun and truck magazines have women in them? Because men are visual and women look good. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that's just to lure them in. That doesn't mean that they are thinking about a woman when there's a gun. That's marketing to get the man to focus. And you're speaking as a woman about what men are looking at? No, I'm saying that's the reason why. No, you back. are. That was a statement. Yeah, I'm telling you marketing wise. Yes, I'm speaking mm -hmm. as a marketer. Yeah, because they know that's what men are thinking about. I, th I think it's because they know what, that's what men like. And thinking about. That's like saying that. Um, why you? Why? Oh. No, why, I'm just. Oh, okay. Yeah, do sit back because it is popping. Um, that's like saying um, a commercial where they show lavish vacations and diamonds or something. I'm trying to think of something that uh, advertisers use to attract women. Women. On it's, the beach, when a man sees that same vacation. Advertisement, he's gonna think to himself, I wonder what other women, other than the one, the one that I'm going with, am I gonna hopefully see on that beach? Is that what you be thinking when we go on vacation? No, not at all. <laughs> I'm about to push I'm you. Giving, I'm giving generals here. It's, it's all general. What do you be thinking when you see these vacations? That sunshine bouncing off your glistening butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> you are stupid. So, okay. And but I am speaking generally, like it's okay. So that was okay. So outside of the bedroom, visual, just mm -hmm. creating the visual and cooking and cleaning. <laughs> That's what you're doing. Visual, feeling. yeah. That's all it is. The visual. Okay. So I mean, we like to be thought about. Um, don't move that. Just go ahead. You like something needs to be turned down. Go like ahead. I said, we we like to be thought about. We we can appreciate. When we're, you know, oh, I thought about you and got you this, I got you that, and the other. Um, but at the same time, that visual is always, yeah. The visual is number one? Yeah. So, in the bedroom. That was the leather seat, by the way. I know, it's like, brrr. In the bedroom, what would you say is... Visual. <laughs> <laughs> 
Visual. Visual. Yeah. In the bedroom that's still. I like to take a poll. I wonder who between men and women who would rather have the lights on. Ooh, if okay, so if you are looking at this on our YouTube channel, answer well most of my most of my viewers are women, but go ahead and I'll post it on my Twitter too because you can do polls on Twitter. Um oh and I can do a poll on YouTube too. If I remember to put in if I remember to put it in there, you'll see it across the screen. If I don't, just answer below. Yeah, yeah I'm, what I'm saying that most people I think most people would probably prefer a dim to low light. Mm -hmm. But the amount of light, like, yeah, I need a little more just so I can see what's going on. You know, it depends on what age I am. When I was younger and more fit. Go ahead. Full lights. Outside. Now that really? things is just moving all around. When you were younger? Yeah. You were with me when I was. You been with me for a minute. I know I was with you. I was with y'all this month too. <laughs> yeah. Um. So still visual. Yeah, still visual. Okay. Okay. Like, because listen, guys, I thought my husband didn't like lingerie. I don't know where she get that from. What? Because I don't understand. When you said that, I like. <laughs> Do, does does Marcus Tanksley need to slap it? Like I feel like Tom. Uh, what's his name? Who? Uh, oh, Dave Chappelle. The, uh, what's his name? The one he sang in the dance and he did the show with Dave Chappelle that one time. I Tom. Uh, not Tom Brady. Yeah, I keep wanting no. to say it. Punk Tom Brady. Uh, uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, whose line is it anyway, black dude? Tommy Davidson. No, that's really? I'm sorry. Wow. Wayne Brady. Wayne Brady. Mm -hmm. Tom Stop hitting the, the table. He is black. Tommy Davidson is a black comedian. He's just not he ain't never line. <laughs> he don't sing it that he ain't done. Well, I did not know Marcus liked lingerie. Yeah, I was, don't. When she said that, like, it was like, what, what? I was getting ready to get rid of all of it. I never wear it because he didn't like it. When I, I don't. Wait, yeah. Go ahead. No, I don't like the overzealous stuff where you like, it's pretty much a costume. Like, come on. I don't need no whole but I don't need tassels hanging. <laughs> I don't need none of that. I need lace. And enough to leave imagination to take over. For imagination to take over yeah. because reality ain't enough. <laughs> yeah, reality's enough. <laughs> but what's the point? You might as well just not wear anything. That's what I thought. I was like, oh, okay, but he No, nah, yeah, that's ridiculous. And so I really was like putting all like a box. It was like a box and a half. I'm like, what are you doing? I was like, you don't like lingerie. He was like, what? <laughs> huh? I said, well, then go through it and you pick out what you like because apparently I am completely. Yeah, so I sorted it. through. So everything that made noise went to the box to the right. We're not keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> and the other stuff, you know, matching stuff, little nineties and all that, it goes to the box to the left. We're gonna keep that right there. So is that what you mean by visual? Yeah. Okay. You know, like your little nights I get you, what's it always leaving? I always leave just the butt cheeks peeking at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it on with some heels. Girl, you're going to have the time of your life what, that night. What is, what is it about heels? <laughs> what isn't it about heels? I remember I saw something in a magazine where it was like comparing like uh, flats and heels. I'm like, it ain't a man walking this planet that would rather see a woman in flat, in ugly flats. Especially in flats that y'all like, because they are hideous. What about heels are attractive is what I'm trying to say. The same thing is attractive to a woman. It, may, it arch your, your foot, it does something to your leg and thigh, your calf. It's a heel. <laughs> it's a heel. I mean, luckily... The best thing God made since water. <laughs> luckily, he's tall and I'm short, so I can wear any height of heel and it not make me taller than you. Yeah, which I wouldn't mind if it did. Oh, there's, there's, there's plenty of guys that don't mind a woman being taller than them. Yeah, you're unfortunately, right. I've been there before. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, have you ever dated a chick near your height? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did she play basketball? Yeah. Or volleyball? I think, I think it was volleyball. I don't remember. <laughs> was that an awkward situation having somebody young? Mm -mm. You were like, it was just fine. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was all right. It was cool. I was, was, going too far. I was gonna you. say you going way too far to memory lane. And no, I'm not. I'm trying to. I'm trying to remember what's wrong with this mic. It's just that we can't turn down the input now. Okay, is that so? This won't change. Um, um, so visual. No, I'm just saying, like side by side. I was like, I didn't mind it. 
Oh, okay. Got it. Envy them guys that got a chick a little same height or taller. Oh. And a lot of dudes embrace You remember one dude we saw walking down the street, he was like a toothpick. He was walking beside that tall, thick chick, and you was like, he must really love her. Oh, yeah. He was he probably was, walking. Oh, he was so into his big old girl. He was just like, big girl, super thick girl. <laughs> You look, look taller tall when you sit, girl. girl. That girl was tall though. But I was like, that girl rocky. Because she had her heels on. And she was already taller than him on without the heels. Yeah, Marcus is constantly like, so you going to wear heels or that? Because she'll ask, so should I wear heels or not? I'm like, What's up, but we going hiking. I don't care. <laughs> Kill yourself. But you'll be sexy when you're down. <laughs> okay, so visual heels negligees or whatever the preference is like so you don't like because he hates my <laughs> my little comfy pants i think they're cute everybody's comfy pants are ugly to somebody else but right? you know what one time i wore them you were like are those new those look good on you look good on your butt and i was like these are just yeah, like because right, <laughs> yeah i don't know what it is you usually i be digging like sweatpants for some reason, I don't know if it's the type angel bows or where she, where she pulls them up. I'm just like, no. Uh, mm -mm. I'll be like, I look cute. <laughs> no, <laughs> look like you look like you've been changing your oil. So, what do you think um, women prefer? I have no freaking idea. I know what you prefer. Outside of the bedroom, you don't know what women prefer in general. Mm -mm. I think. I think it depends on the woman. Some women are like a real clean, spiffy man. Some. Women like a more rugged look. Oh, you're talking about we're not into visual as much oh. as men are. So you oh, yeah, you want to y'all want to be pampered and att attentive. You know, you want to be attentive. Someone paying someone paying you attention. Yes, to I can't think it's a word for that. Y'all let us <laughs> attentive. know. Attentive. You want someone who's attentive. Yeah, you want someone who's attentive. You know, it's I caters to you, worships the ground you walk on. I don't think all women want that actually. No, I'm saying this is all as general. As this is general stuff, just like the man. Want to see other women on vacation? The, the no. The thing that I really think is most important is consideration. I think what probably irritates me probably the most and will get you in trouble the most is when you're trying to start something at an inconsiderate time for me, <laughs> or and I think other women would feel the same way. Like if you really want, if a guy really wants something to happen. To like strategically make sure. Are you saying with sex? Yeah, this is what oh, we've been talking okay, about. Making sure. No, this is what. Yeah. So like, if it's like, okay, I really a dude is like, I really, uh, well, that's always want to do it. Being like, exactly. okay, I'm glad you're learning. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure it's at the opportune time in the day. I'm not going to try to make her stink right after she just took a shower. <laughs> Get that midday. Thing going if but I can. Why can't we want something clean and and, and <laughs> spick and span? Why we got? Well, you know, request that ahead of time, but don't don't just take my shower that was not for you. <laughs> take it. I will give you a pre-sex shower if you just you know figure out a way to coax me into knowing we're about to do this. Do you mind getting? Like, of course, that's no problem. Mm -hmm. I think it's the consideration mm -hmm. or beforehand like, you might care. But during and after, you ain't gonna care. <laughs> I get back in this shower, this boy. <laughs> no. Don't make me late. But no, like that. Oh, God. Marcus used to kill me. He would wait until I would need to leave to go somewhere and be like. Cause that's what she'd be dressed nice. I'd watch you switch out the door. Like, Come here. <laughs> Can I get a quickie? Oh, my God. I got to go somewhere. <laughs> It'll be fast. It'll be fast. And, and then. Be. And then he forgets the meaning of fast. That quickly. Because you got into it. I'm like, all right. Let me. Let me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it to yep. make sure to help you make it quick. Oh, you going about it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make it quick, start checking text messages. I'll finish up real quick. <laughs> you look like you enjoy it. I'm like, she's going to enjoy it even longer now. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. I think just being considerate and just, so things like that. So knowing if I say I'm exhausted and tired and I'm getting in the bed, don't all of a sudden start. You ain't gotta do nothing. You're exhausted. <laughs> Be exhausted and tired. No, that's what you say, but if I've got to move and position my body. You ain't got to position nothing. I got that. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be awake. No, right now you might need your position because I ain't working out. But <laughs> otherwise, I ain't going to go live. I got you. <laughs> I remember back in the 
the day, and I'm gonna try not to be too TMI, when you would want to do something, and, but you would want me, and I'd be so tired and halfway sleepy, and you would want me to participate in the foreplay, and then you would get mad because I would fall asleep. <laughs> but who else does, used to and still does that? <laughs> what do you mean, who else still what? You, you'd be like, or wake me up, want to do something, just be like, all right, do this. Like, How oh, helpful? <laughs> you initiated this. I was knocked out asleep. I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> but no, and then have, have demands like, I need you to do this. I need you to do this. Yeah, yeah. No. no. You said men want sex all the time. It's the time. Not there. That's the time. That I mean, I got to do nothing. Don't be mad because I just want to lay there because you don't woke me up. Okay. So, what would you say? Are the oh, selfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, oh yeah, he's getting it on my schedule. That's even more of a turn on. No, he ain't got to no do it. it works both ways. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> so what is a don't that you feel like men in general are just like, mm -mm, I, I'm not here for it. I am not here. Um, I it ain't. You can always turn yeah, it around. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Punch me in my face. I'm like, don't do that no more. <laughs> now let's go on here and get in here and handle some business. Why? I said don't do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's so many don'ts for women. It's ridiculous. Yeah. There's a, a list full you of them. Like a bull in a china shop. You just gotta be, just walk easy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you really do. But I, I, I like how you know, if you believe in God, I like how God set that up though. That even, I mean, especially now that we're in a day and age where, you know, you need a woman's permission. Obviously, there was a point in time where that did not exist. You know, BC, no, no, let's say BC, but like back in the day. Um, yeah, it wasn't BC. No, that's what I'm saying. No, let me. Oh, this I century. Mean, I mean, biblical time, definitely, I don't feel like permission was needed. Not from the woman, maybe from her father. But, um, yeah, even in the United States, if we go way back, real permission wasn't really needed from the woman. I mean, there's still a lot of countries where they ain't needed. But, but um, I uh, do think that it's great that there is a seduction that kind of can go either way. And being that the guy is usually the one that, well, not you, I'm, that's... A really generalized statement but being that men are the ones that as you say are always focused on it that they have to kind of learn the ways of a woman or they'll just be with several women women that don't care but if they want to be with a certain woman they have to kind of learn her ways to make that work in yeah. their favor I know I don't know why I think that's a cool thing the way God made no, that it is it's uh until you are truly like we are I ain't saying like we the the uh bar but when you with somebody and y'all vibe beyond physical and mental it's like a connection like a spiritual connection mm -hmm. ain't nothing like it uh, <laughs> oh ain't nothing like ain't nothing it, like it. Love my boo. so let me let us know some of your do's and don'ts in the comments below when it comes to sexy time i wish y'all could see some of this lingerie she, she used to try to pull off be like you don't like it you don't seem like you into it's too loud baby it's too much i didn't buy it it was stuff from the bridal right shower it. i haven't bought lingerie in so long the only time the, the only lingerie i bought really was when we were dating and you remember that yeah yeah and i knew he liked that lot he showed me very quickly <laughs> he liked that lingerie i said hold, hold on get this, get this, <laughs> this is before we became <laughs> celibate but yeah during that period of time he was like i mean it, it actually it brought a smile to my face because i was just like oh <laughs> This was a, this was just like Yeah, my friend like it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you remember that? I had a, gave you a massage and a facial. You were like, okay, are we done? Yeah, no, hurry all this up. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is stupid. <laughs> I'm enjoying it, yeah, but come on. That was when you were skinny. Yeah, I was. Listen, I could contort myself in all kinds of positions. <laughs> <laughs> Still couldn't say it Indian style. So imagine me right now. Oh, Jesus, help me. Help me, Father. 
All right, guys, in the comments below, leave us what are your like no's or goals when it comes to sexy time in the bedroom. You know, else I'm uh, if something else just can't because I know how to like rev you up throughout the day, too, or to be like a because we quite frequent, it'd be like a two or three day drought, <laughs> <laughs> but the whole time I'm just like. Plant little seeds here and there. I so. can tell when you plant seeds, and I appreciate that because that means you took me in consideration. It's not just your urge; it's I know these are the things that she would like, and this will get her in the right mood, and then we can both enjoy it at the same level. We enjoy it at the same level, regardless. <laughs> no, no. Like I said beforehand. <laughs> get on my nerves. Oh, okay. <laughs> but that part is so important yeah. I feel like that that beginning part it really because I can get back into my attitude afterwards so I might have <laughs> that's <any>. fine too <laughs> <laughs> I don't care nothing about that okay but um yeah no take take a woman and consider her consider her thoughts her feelings and that'll get you that'll get you the panties a lot yeah. quicker and women men are easy yeah they are we yeah yeah they yeah, are if you find a man that picky you might have a different flavor. <laughs> it might have a different flavor. Yeah. So like, I ain't going into detail. All right. Let's end this podcast, guys. I'm so glad that we uh, are keeping this going. We'll be back next week. Um, we should be having some collaborations come up. I started um, getting some folks. So we'll be having Yvonne Orgy from Insecure on here. Uh, hopefully, we'll be having my girlfriend, Emily Rose from um, Sci-Fi's Haven as well as Janora Walcott from Scandal. We just got a lot of actors coming in here and then hopefully we'll grab some YouTubers too. I'm going to hit up um, Gabrielle and Chad of Gay Bay TV because I know they're going to be starting their podcast this year and the uh, Holderness family. Um, so yeah, just be on the lookout. I don't know nobody, so. You know everybody I named. So you don't know Yvonne. I'm saying I ain't going to reach out to nobody. It's like, no. you want me to do what? <laughs> no. Oh, we're going to have Marcus's really good friend and my, my sorority friend, Shonda. She's going to do podcasts with me. Oh, is she? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah, see? You know folks. Yay. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Y'all come back next week. And uh, like I said, if you got any comments, questions, concerns, hit us up on our social media using the hashtag ITGTCAA. God bless y'all. Y'all have a good one. I think I have like an hour between my audition and me having to work. Maybe two hours and I'll be able to edit and get this all up. Okay, guys. I need to go work on my audition. I'm going to actually work on it right here. Don't don't unplug anything yet. Um, yeah, I can't uh, no, I'll kill you. Alright. Uh... Glad you guys are getting another one. It makes me proud that we're taking this more seriously. Yeah, I'm good. Bye guys! Pray for me that I book these jobs! Yay! <laughs>